Hey, it's Rick and Sharon from Cargo On. We're packing up the gear, but we're not going camping. We're going shooting. Join us on the shooting range. Uh, we're down here in South Jersey today. This is the Millville area. We are at a shotgun and rifle range and archery range that uh, is on the management area. You can hear somebody shooting rifles in the background. It's a 200 yard range which is one of the longest ranges in the state as far as the uh, WMA range. So we're going to start off, we're going to do a little shotgun shooting, uh, trap shooting, clay pigeons first, and then we're going to go over to the rifle range. Hopefully by that point, maybe these other people that are over there will clear out so it's a little quieter. So Rick, you we're a Boy Scout leader, correct? Yes, I was a oh. Scoutmaster for total over 30 years, or Scout leader. And you were a firearms instructor? Yes, I oh. was a NRA rifle and shotgun instructor, which I obtained primarily for the Boy Scouts. I was also a range safety officer uh, certification with NRA. Oh. So, how do you get qualified to do that? The NRA offers courses that are taught by instructor trainers, and you attend them. Do I shoot? All right, so what do I do? This is pretty. Bring the butt up in your shoulder. Make sure you're pulling back on it. Keep it tight to your shoulder. Your left leg forward. Bend at the knee so you're not leaning back. You want to lean forward at your butt. Put that red dot on it? Yeah, and, and you also want to make sure that that red dot is like right here, that you're not seeing any of this rib. You want your eye down in a line so that the dot looks like it's sitting right here. Oh, I see it. Okay. Because yep. if you see, if you can see the rib, you're shooting high above it. Okay. All right. Where on that one? I did. Four for four. And I know you're very big on safety and following all the rules and everything like that. I want to ask you this, and I know you alluded to it a little bit, but you know the timing right now to want to do videos about shooting people some people may say you're crazy why now rick why now do you want to do a video about guns when it seems like everybody is anti-gun well first off i don't think personally i don't feel that everybody is anti-gun well you're right they All probably right. there but there's a lot but, but what I do sense, and probably my primary motivation here, is that just like the partisanship in the political parties, there's a great divide in terms of people's opinion about firearms. And it's gotten to be intense. It's gotten to be to the point of violence. And I'd like to see people basically calm down, settle down a little bit. I think we can discuss this as adults intelligently and and use proper information and reasoning in order to maybe not come to a consensus but at least to come to an understanding of one another i understand what you're saying and you and i believe that we have the right to bear arms in this country but right now if you look at some of the issues that are occurring in the news not everybody agrees with that there are a lot of people right now that want to strike the second amendment repeal it they don't believe that we have the, a right to bear arms. I think that most people, they don't like guns because when they hear these shootings and all this stuff happening, they blame the gun. The gun did not grow legs, walk to the 4th of July parade, walk to the mall, walk to wherever and start firing at people. Somebody had to do that. And lately, the people who have been doing it have been some, they're usually younger males, 
And I think the main problem in this country that we are not addressing is people's mental health. I am a licensed clinical social worker in the state of New Jersey, so I am a mental health professional. But it doesn't take a mental health professional to know that we have serious mental health issues in this country that are going unnoticed until they finally are noticed. And when they're noticed, they're noticed because of a big bang. Well, Many of these shooters have had warning signs and red flags that that went undetected and unreported and unnoticed. Not true. They they were noticed, but nobody dealt with it. There, there was no follow-up. And that's where we're seeing in a lot of these mass shootings right now is that there were red flags all over the place and nobody did a damn thing about it. One, one of the things that I see is that many different areas of government, there seems to be a retreat from previous standards, previous involvement. We don't want to spend as much money in this area as what we were. We can't afford to, to treat as many people in this area as what we had been. There, there's a definite withdrawal in the oversight of government compared to what it had been. Now, I've been a pro-gun person for years. I'm not a gun nut and I'm not an anti-gun nut, but I do believe that guns are not evil. I don't believe that guns kill people. We know that cars kill people, but no one's called for a ban on cars or airplanes or knives. I also believe that there has to be good guys to thwart the bad guys that are out there. And I don't believe that the police can adequately protect us, not everyone, from harm. Therefore, I have to accept the responsibility for protecting myself and my people if and when the need arises. I would like to talk about a number of issues regarding firearms in some upcoming videos. And I'll talk a little more about the reasons that I got into shooting and became an instructor and, and my feelings about shooting. I know it's a rather controversial subject with guns right now, but um, I'm very, very pro-gun as far as ownership goes, but I'm also believe in, in doing things legally. This was a different type of video. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought. We're going to be rolling out some of Rick's ideas in some of these videos. He came up with a great idea for a viral video and told him about it, and he doesn't want to do it. Sharon wants me to shoot my $500 drone. <laughs> uh, I don't see that as being a viable video. Well, maybe you get a cheap drone and shoot it. Well, I like shooting clay pigeons. They're, they work just fine. Maybe we could take up a collection, buy a drone just to shoot and see if it films it. No, I would feel like a, some sort of an outlaw for doing, <laughs> doing that. Okay, check out the next video. Rick is going to talk about when he killed a bear when he was 12 years old. True story. Check it out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like our video.